Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between hot riveting and cold riveting. Riveting is a permanent joining process, with mainly two components or parts to be joined, which are held together by a rivet with the head at top and tail at the bottom. Both hot riveting and cold riveting are permanent joining techniques. So, let's look into the basic differences between hot riveting and cold riveting in a tabular form. Difference number 1. In hot riveting, protruding end of the rivet shank opposite to head, is heated to an elevated temperature which is about two-third of the melting temperature of the rivet material. So upsetting is carried out at elevated temperature, whereas, in cold riveting, no such heating is made. Upsetting is carried out at room temperature. Number 2. For hot riveting, the rivet material remains in plastic state due to heating and thus considerably lower pressure is required to apply on the die, whereas, in cold riveting, comparatively more pressure is required to apply on the die for the same rivet material and size. Number 3. In hot riveting, external heat source is required to elevate the rivet temperature, whereas, in cold riveting, no such heat source is required. Number 4. Since heating process requires time, so hot riveting is a time-consuming process, whereas, Cold riveting is time efficient as no heating is carried out. Number 5. In hot riveting, due to automatic volumetric shrinkage during cooling after the upsetting, tensile stress develops within the rivet shank. It helps holding the assembled parts tightly, whereas, in cold riveting, no such tensile stress develops within the rivet shank because temperature change does not occur here. Consequently, gripping force is less. Number 6. Due to strong gripping force, Joints are usually leak-proof in hot riveting, whereas, cold riveting is not recommended for fluid-tight joining purposes. Number 7. In hot riveting, shank of the rivet is subjected to shear stress and tensile stress, whereas, in cold riveting, shank of the rivet is subjected to shear stress only. And, difference number 8. It is suitable when rivet material is ferrous and or rivet diameter is above 10 mm. For non-ferrous rivets such as aluminum, brass, etc. of small diameter, cold riveting can be conducted, 